Elections in Thailand too. The ex-Prime Minister's daughter has leadership in her sights as she campaigns for an end to military-backed rule. Tom Joyner reporting there. Voters are also heading to the polls in Thailand today for the country's much-anticipated general election. Major polls are tipping the biggest opposition party will win the most vote votes, but many experts are predicting the next government will most likely end up as a coalition. Southeast Asia correspondent Mazoe Ford reports from Bangkok. Thailand's election is shaping up to be a referendum on the role of the military in politics and a choice between the Conservative establishment, the party backed by divisive former Prime Minister in exile Thaksin Shinawat and a resurgent youth party. The country's had military rulers now for almost nine years and the man at the top who's hoping for re-election is Prime Minister and 2014 coup leader Prayut Chanacha. He's run a nationalistic campaign promising stability and to protect to the country's most important institutions, the military and the monarchy. Mr Prayut is currently running a distant third in the polls, though, behind pro-democracy parties who want to shake things up. The Taksin Bakpur Thai party, the biggest opposition party, is expected to win the most seats by luring voters in with populist policies, including raising the minimum wage. Taksin's daughter Peitong Tan, who just gave birth to her second child only two weeks ago, is leading the polls for most preferred Prime Minister. But popularity is no guarantee of anything, because the military-controlled Senate also gets to vote for who ultimately becomes Prime Minister. And then there's another force at play, the youth-led Move Forward Party. Its leader, Peter Lim Jiranrat, surged to the top of some of the polls in the final weeks of campaigning. Move Forward has what many call a radical reform agenda and it's polarising the nation. There are controversial policies to end military conscription, get rid of monopolies and reform the law, making it a crime to criticise the monarchy. If early voting is anything to go by, the Thai people are enthusiastic about having their say. 2.6 million of the 52 million registered voters turned out early last Sunday to cast their votes in advance and the Electoral Commission expects voter turnout all up to be 80%.